This is Japan Vlog Service. Hi YouTube, Mikey Peckett here, and it is Saturday the 26th of March 2016. Bit of an odd video of this because it's a bit of a response video to Arrested and to our mutual friend. Again, I don't like response in this regard because it's, well, I'm not disagreeing with, Lord, with Scott, obviously, with Unrested. I, I knew he was going to make this video, I told him to mention my name. But, yeah, that's what we call it, so it's a response. But our mutual friend who really watch Unrested's video, it's quite detailed, and gives his and my experiences with his mutual friend. I will say for my part, I've, this mutual friend was a former YouTuber and lives here in Japan, is, is a Japanese citizen and his dad died and yeah, he fell into a depression which he has never really got out of and has recently, after I phoned him, he unfriended me on Facebook but I phoned him a few months later because I had his phone number and just wanted to check up check up on him and uh, yeah he alleged things about unrested specifically that unrested agreed to send to send him a computer and he had not said sent said computer which i just well i have to say that you know i have no reason to doubt him when he says that he sent the computer and no reason to, but also no reason to doubt unrested when he said he'd never received anything. But I also, since saying that to Scott and I'm to this mutual friend, think this. A few months ago, knowing him to already be in financial dire, dire straits, I bought some of his uh, balms, some of his oils, and they're pretty good, you know, actually. They work, they made me feel better, so why not? I wired him the money, and he said the bank charges meant that it wasn't enough. But I, again, didn't quite believe this, because I wired more than the amount to make allowances for that, actually. I'd actually, I forget what the actual cost was, but it was, you know, some figure, and I put about... 5,000 more yen in because, yeah, I knew he was in a bit of a bad way, his dad was dying, and yeah, this is through PayPal, see, so just putting a lump sum. Not PayPal, it was through banking system, so yeah, some of it could have been taken off, but uh, I doubt it, ultimately, I just do. Because I check, I was sending it from my bank to his PayPal, so I don't think anything could be skimmed off the top there, actually, because I asked that my bank pay all the fees. So if anything, I should have lost more money, and he should have lost none. So I really didn't believe him when he said, you know, there should have been like a little, you know, it's a British bank account, it would have had £1.50, £3 something transfer charge or something like that. It didn't. But I certainly asked it to pay all the fees. So I, when he says he sent money, and I have a photograph of an envelope, that's fact. I still sort of don't believe it, ultimately now. Because I've been searching my recollection, and yeah, there was something odd. Because in the end, I sent him more money, and I'm happy to do so. Because, yeah, he's a bit of a mess. But what I'd rather do, if, he's, if he se says he's you know, not being able to eat every day, you could easily send him food. There's no problem there. Food is, you know, you can send any... With the right permits, you can send anything from the post, including money. With a fact that it really isn't done. And send, I'll send you food, man, I really would. But what I don't believe is I just don't believe you actually sent it. Now, because... Yeah, I'm searching my recollection, certain things don't make sense. And I'm also thinking, because let's be clear, yes, I, f I think you can get a permit to send a, a money registered mail if you absolutely have to, but it's just not done. I haven't got a, I'm married to a Japanese person, as most of you know, and yeah, one of those re relatives by marriage works for the post office. You could do it, but really wouldn't. And if, you know, they check everything. 
you don't want to make it sound like Japan's a police state, but yeah, if you're putting something illegal in the mail, they will learn about it. How do you think these, you know, that poor American woman who's a girl, American young woman, who had her mother send her lithium-based drugs in the mail? Yeah, d- kind of done in other countries. No one really checks. They check here in Japan, so you really wouldn't do it. Back on topic, yeah. I To our mutual friend, I really feel for you. I really do. But... I just... I understand you say you did these things, and I know you're in dire straits, but I also think you have depression. And it's quite easy to be, to be depressed. Yeah, your, your dad died. Much sympathy. But when you say things like uh, you're going to cure cancer or get a job as an actor, or you're going to Germany, I think that's, that's evidence of bipolar disorder, of manic depression. Because they're grand plans. Now, don't get me wrong, I know you are talented. Actually, I've, I've, heard, I've heard your music, and yeah, it's actually quite good. And, you know, getting out of Japan and, and seeking work elsewhere is a good idea, perhaps. And I know that you, you, know, you grew up in European countries and in Asian countries outside out West Asia as well, from the point of view of being Japanese, so India and Sri Lanka and that sort of thing. Yeah, so why not? But here's the thing. Even I, as someone married to a Japanese citizen, so didn't really need a job, to get here, had a gratis position at a university which allowed me to be paid for proofreading, so I had some income. Even I had that. I'm still not, I'm not super rich, but yeah, I, I wasn't running away from Britain. I was going somewhere <laughs> with, with some goal in mind, and if the, there was no work, I would have gone home, actually. I would have gone back to Britain. Luckily for me, it seems to be working out thus far. So, yeah. The, the very idea of moving to Germany isn't stupid, but you need to take small steps, is what I would say to you. But back to, I said, this is also about unrested. And that's that, uh, yeah. I truly don't believe that you want to do Scott any harm, but... If you feel you're depressed, just keep it in check. Just self-monitor is the phrase that psychologists use. You know, I get the feeling that when you argue with Scott when you're from the past or when you phone me, it's when you have a bout of depression. And, I'm, and as someone who's had experience with that, both myself personally and family members, happy to listen, really am. But if it's if it's just talking for the sake of talking, and you, and you're telling that Scott's done this and Scott's done that, then that's just a rant. I'm very hurtful when you're telling the Scott that I've said this and I've said that, that Mikey said this, and I've fallen out with that guy. You know, don't play us against each other. That's, you know, you're a good guy. Be the good guy. Continue to be that good guy by not trying to play friends against friends. Because what I did as soon as I finished the course, I, I, I told him what you said and said that, and said you tried to put it as fairly as possible. But yeah, I have to say, ultimately, I don't believe you. Because you and I both know unrested, Scott. If he had the thing, and he has the computer, as I understand it from the video, is still on offer. Get a job, even a part-time job, just get something. And he'll, and I think he would have helped you. But I do believe him when he said he did. He didn't receive it. If he didn't receive it, it either got lost in the mail or it was never sent. And you told me that you phoned me because you trusted me, and I was deeply wounded by that because I also know that you phoned Scott or contacted Scott, Scott saying that uh, Mikey's. I've fallen out with that guy. Don't lie to me. Don't patronise me. I, I, like you tr- I like the fact that you said you trust me. It's great. I, I like to think I'm trustworthy. But that's not what you were doing. You're trying to manipulate someone. 
And that's an act of a desperate man. That's how I'm understanding at the moment. But if you continue doing so, I can't continue talking to you. Because, yeah, you can't manipulate people like that. Anyway. Yours in friendship, Michael.